Welcome to our 18th annual Macon Film Festival Official Selections Awards program. We're excited to have you with us and to share the list of winners from this year's festival. I'm Justin Andrews, president of this year's festival board of directors. Before we get to this year's list of winners, I'd like to take a minute and thank all of you who helped make this year's festival a reality. It was an amazing weekend of celebrating independent film and filmmakers throughout the city of Macon. Unfortunately, as you know, due to an equipment issue, the full dome portion of our festival had to be rescheduled to mid-October. I'm excited to share that our friends at the Museum of Arts and Sciences have their planetarium back up and running. So make sure to mark October 12th through the 14th on your calendars to join us for this year's Full Dome Festival. As always, this year's festival features incredible immersive content from around the world and you won't want to miss it. Up first, we have our student shorts category. This year's winner for best student short film comes from the Savannah College of Art and Design and is the narrative short August, directed by Eli McGowan. August shares the story of a young boy torn by the appearance of German POWs in his rural farming community. One day, he makes a decision that will impact his family for a generation. I gotta tell daddy, I just gotta. No, you ain't. He hurt my sister. You think that what heart looks like? She loves him. You think she's white trash, don't you? At least she is white. Sound like Mr. Hitler. <clears throat> Next, we have our LGBTQ category award. This year's winner for best LGBTQ film is the narrative short Panic Attack, directed by Anthony Assad. Panic Attack introduces us to Alex, who is transitioning from female to male. Alex finds himself in a situation abandoned by his friends and is forced to confront his anxieties before entering the unknown alone. We're not doing anything wrong. No, but it's dangerous. We could get in trouble. Not if we back each other up. Come on, don't back out on me now. I'm sorry, okay? It's not okay. I've used up all my holiday days for the year, Cal. I'm back waiting tables tomorrow. You couldn't have kept your mouth shut until then. No, I couldn't. I worry my family enough as it is. You don't know what it's like. <sighs> no, I guess I don't. I just have myself to worry about, right? Alex, that's not what I meant. Look, I didn't have a choice. But I do now, and so do you. Our next two awards focus on our narrative categories of competition with both feature and short categories of film. First up is the narrative short category. This year's winner for best narrative short film is The Fourth, directed by Johnny Kirk. The Fourth follows a group of young black and Latino friends eager to celebrate the 4th of July who end up experiencing a police encounter that shatters the meaning of the holiday. Ooh, they steal it! Don't do that! <laughs> no, we're not, sir. He, he's just playing. That ain't cool. Why are you always playing like that, Saint? <laughs> you gonna eat all of that? Man, can I live? Just let me live! You know what? Let me take my snacks, man. Yeah, but no one y'all owe me from last time you gotta anyway. Go. Yeah! Oh my God, I got your bag, Come please. Come on, Ray! Hurry up! Hurry up! Up next, we have our Narrative Feature Category Award. This year's winner for Best Narrative Feature is Nightwatch, directed by Joachim Neef. Nightwatch tells the story of Paul, a young trouble inmate who gets released on parole and tries to overcome the demons of his past and find his way back into society. Irgendwas ist mit dir. Irgendwas stimmt nicht. Mit euch beiden stimmt alles, oder was? Tut mir leid. Schön, okay. Next, we have our documentary categories of competition with both the feature and short documentary award winners. The first documentary award category is our shorts category. This year's winner for best documentary short is Stitch, directed by Arshley Tony Emil, 
Stitch is a story about a team of women who come together to create a quilting organization that helps to showcase the quilting talents of other women of color. This film is an intimate look into the lives of African-American quilters who tell their stories of both their past and present. Yesterday, I pulled out a couple of quilts that my paternal grandmother made probably 100 years ago. And they still exist and they mean something to me. And I started looking at the fabrics to see what time period they came from, you know, what was, what was happening in her life when she made that. Well, I used to see my grandmother and her friends sitting around the frame in the country quilting. And I didn't think that much about it, but it was more the fellowship of the women when they all got together that intrigued me as a child. In the community that I was exposed to, the next award category is Documentary Feature. This year's winner for Best Documentary Feature is Jimmy and Saigon, directed by Peter McDowell. Jimmy and Saigon begins as a personal exploration into the mysterious death and radical life of Jimmy McDowell, an American 24-year-old Vietnam veteran who died as a civilian in Saigon in 1972. In his quest to get to know his brother, Director Peter McDowell uncovers a hidden romance, new family ties, and a remarkable global love story. Great, like, so Lu Yan, the girl, this is, I mean, this is her address. This is the letter that I found so interesting. Dear Mr. and Mrs. McDowell, I just received the letter. Jim is a friend of my brother and considers Dung like his own brother. Dung loves Jim very much since Jim's death he looks at the picture taken with Jim at Vung Tao all the time. Rounding out our category awards, we have our Georgia Made category. This year's winner for Best Georgia Made Film is Her Name Was Hester, directed by Brian Campbell. After moving away from her rural community, Stacey Marshall decides to return to her ancestral farm in Georgia to focus on rehabilitating the farm. As she works the land, she cannot shake the reality of her farm having held enslaved humans. So, she begins to develop a restorative response to her family's difficult past to bringing a community together. I was um, nursing my firstborn daughter, and um, obviously that was a very emotional time, but I was at my grandfather's house, and I was struggling to produce milk, and so he, um, in an effort to comfort me, said that um, I had inherited that from the women in my family and then began to, to tell me how generations back there were seven slaves that were purchased and that one of those was um, a woman named Hester that was bought to feed um, the family and she had four children. And I'm like, listen to this. And then all of a sudden he goes, and you know, that's why we bought the slave. And it was just like the air just was like sucked out of me, you know, sitting there with my 83 year old grandfather saying this to me. And that's why we bought the slave. The final award category is the festival special mention category. This year, the category focused on a collection of music-themed documentaries. This year's winner for Best Music Film is the documentary feature, Frank Bay, All My Dues Are Paid, directed by Tom Dwyer and Lisa Palatella. In 1977, soul blues singer Frank Bay quit singing after a deal went terribly wrong with James Brown. Forty years later, Frank was invited to record an album in Nashville with Buddy Guy's record producer, fulfilling the dream of his lifetime. Do you love me? Really love me? The song itself is a character. So, do you love me? <laughs> sit your little pretty ass down and get into the code, into the character of the song and be that character. Be, bring me that, convince me. Make me believe it. Lord, I just want to know. If you hear me singing a song and you don't believe it, then I'm doing something wrong. Lord, where you been so long? Y'all, come on now. Congratulations to all our category winners. And now, 
I'm excited to announce this year's Audience Choice Award winners. These winners were voted on by this year's festival audience. It was a close competition, but these documentary and narrative films were selected as this year's audience favorites. Our first Audience Choice Award is for the documentary category. This year's winner of the Documentary Audience Choice Award is documentary feature, Ship Happens, directed by Jordan Bellamy and Joss Gillian. Ship Happens follows the story of a community impacted by a capsized ship loaded with over 4,000 vehicles in St. Simons Island, Georgia. The film follows a two-year salvage project going away in this island community. One thing to always remember about ship or any of these cars is it's never supposed to be on the side. All your fluids were leaking out. The first actual contaminant that was leaking out was I believe day two or day three, but there were no booms out. There was nothing out to protect the contaminants from actually going back further up into our estuary. They actually got into a lot of the fuel tanks because there's multiple fuel tanks in there and they removed uh, 320,000 gallons, but they were not able to get to everything. There's still 44,000 gallons of petroleum on board, plus your 4,200 cars. And our final Audience Choice Award for the evening is the Karen Black Narrative Film Audience Choice Award. This year's winner for the Narrative Film Audience Choice Award is the Georgia-made short film Chipper, directed by Sean McLean. In Chipper, a wayward son returns to his childhood home after receiving a mysterious letter forces him to wrestle with a dark family secret. You don't visit daddy. You don't call to check on him. You certainly don't care about me. Hold on. Hold on. You're the one who called me, Reese. He asked me to come. He hasn't spoken since the stroke. He wrote me. Congratulations to all of our Audience Choice winners. And thank you to everyone who took the time to vote for this year's Audience Choice Awards. Our final award for the evening is our Melvin Douglas Best in Show Award. This award goes to the film that scored the highest amongst our festival viewers. This year, we're excited to share that the 2023 Macon Film Fest Best in Show Award goes to the documentary short film Campana, directed by Samuel Pastor. In the Menagerie region of Madagascar, there's a popular belief that twins are carriers of misfortunes. Campana tells the story of a mother and her sons who are socially rejected because of being twins. Make sure to save the dates for the 19th annual Macon Film Festival on August 15th through August 18th, 2024. Don't forget to follow us on our website and on all of our social media platforms for upcoming festival announcements and special events. See you at our Full Dome Festival on October 12th through the 14th.